AFTAB Puriball's transition team calls him the complete package, intelligent, energetic, collaborative, compassionate. He wants City Hall to pour forth deliverable results by early April. Look, it, what people can expect in our first 100 days is bold action. He defines that as specific legislation on economic recovery with racial equity, affordable housing, public safety, and climate action. Once newly elected lawmakers replace the lame duck council, the sticker price for that bold action will be front and center. During the campaign, Puravol would not rule out raising the earnings tax to try to boost the city out of a pandemic economy. Corporate Cincinnati will be adamantly opposed to this. I think that their feeling, along with a lot of other people, is that raising taxes is not going to promote growth. Since election night, Puravol's not indicated whether he's eyeing a bump in the earnings tax. It was rolled back a couple years ago when voters approved a sales tax increase for the bus system. Today, he said economic recovery is his top priority. Our economy has unfortunately been running in place. We've been in, in neutral. Despite the great population growth we've seen over the last 10 years, all of that is hanging in the balance. Puravol will continue meeting weekly with outgoing Mayor John Cranley, who has strong ties with the business community. He's tapped hospital executive Michael Fisher to be a bridge to business. Um, you know, uh, the big bold plans also require a vibrant economy and require the tax base to do it. And in addition to Fisher, on his transition team, civil rights advocate Stephanie Jones and former mayor Mark Mallory will help him make the transition. He wants, as he puts it, a fresh look at structural and environmental challenges that he says hold many Cincinnatians back and then take steps to move them forward in what he intends to be a growing economy. Live at City Hall, John London, WWT News 5.